The United States, Canada, Australia, Britain, Germany, and Italy are some of the countries that cut funding to UNRWA immediately after Israel accused 12 of UNRWA's employees of participating in Operation Al-Aqsa Flood on October 7th. After the Israeli allegations were made public, these countries cut off funding to the agency, which aids almost 6 million Palestinian refugees, 2 million of whom are located in Gaza, doing so amid Israel's genocidal war on the Strip. Naturally, the Israeli claim prompted an investigation. And as famine looms over Gaza, the main agency that provides aid to Palestinians was defunded by its major donors. And just like every other Israeli claim since October 7 turned out to be a lie, can you guess whether Israel provided any concrete evidence? Of course not. Israel presented its claim in the second half of January. Over a week into March, the occupation has not presented a single piece of evidence. The head of UNRWA, Philippe Lazzarini, has repeatedly announced that Israel has provided no evidence against the accused agency employees. As another Israeli lie is exposed, Canada was the first to announce the refunding of the UN Palestinian Refugee Agency on March 6. Moreover, Spain allocated an additional 25 million euros to UNRWA on March 7. The announcements alone deal a great blow to the Israeli occupation, which has been endlessly trying to demonize the Palestinian Refugee Agency to dismantle it. But the real question remains, why did these countries rush to defund the agency that ensures aid to millions of Palestinian refugees? Why were they so quick to elevate Palestinian suffering as Israel's atrocities in Gaza continue to unfold to the world day after day? If anything, this quick action revealed a readiness to enact collective punishment on Palestinians. Once again, Western countries choose Israel's interest over helping Palestinians who are suffering from the worst humanitarian crisis in the 21st century. Yet, they claim to be the defenders of human rights and leaders of the free world. The audacity.